So we're done with our water change. So actually I changed around 40% of the water. So just to refresh the system and also to reduce the nitrate level uh, of, uh, of the water. And uh, I just want to share you what kind of, what kind of fish uh, I have in the, inside the aquarium. So I have three kinds of tetras. So as you can see, the red ones are serpe and you can see also the white ones over there are red eye tetras so basically because they have uh, here this one they called they are called red eye obviously because of their red eyes and also i have uh, three pieces of uh, neon tetras those uh, having blue color okay glowing blue color and uh, i think red tail so their color are not that strong after water change because they were uh, they are they are stressed at this time but uh, I think after a few hours you would see their colors uh, brighter so this is what keeps me busy during weekend actually this aquarium is uh, a redesign already so the first uh, design was uh, a year old and uh, I just don't know what happened uh, when I had the, the, the COVID ordeal. So that week span, each day, um, I think two or three fish uh, were dying until all of them had gone. So I think there's always this uh, strange connection between you and whatever pet you have in, uh, inside your home or whatever pet you have. Um, if they feel that uh, you are not well so they they would feel the same so at that time I was really I was really wondering why almost every day I have to take out two or three out uh, three of them out of the aquarium so I told myself okay just to have a fresh start so I, I, I remove uh, or I changed the whole design of the the aquarium. Let me add also that uh, my next plan um, is to have uh, a carpet plant to cover the, the substrate or the soil. So actually I am just new as far as this uh, aquascaping is concerned. So you would see some who are professional and they have a very very nice design, very intricate design. So I'm just trying to to learn more on how uh, I can uh, improve uh, the design of the aquarium. So for the meantime guys, that's it for for today. And uh, let's go directly to our board work. So back to our board work. So our topic for today is a mixture problem. So I think a mixture problem is another type of word problems as far as uh, algebra is concerned. So. I think the, the, the concept here is uh, simple also. Say you have a solution A with a certain volume and a certain concentration. You will add now this solution to another solution. Let's say it's B. B has also a certain volume and a certain concentration. So by, mi by mixing these two, you'll get a final solution F. So the final solution will have now the final volume and final concentration. So in other words, so volume of A times concentration of B, uh, A plus volume of B times concentration of B, this is equal now to your final volume times final concentration. But then again, your final volume is equal now to volume of A plus volume of B. So I guess to have a better understanding of this, so let's try some more problems. So let's have this uh, first example. So how many liters of 20% alcohol solution should be added to 40 liters of 50% solution to make 30% solution? So as illustrated before, so you have a solution A, Plus solution B. So 
by mixing these uh, two solutions, you'll have a final solution F. So we say that volume of A, concentration of A plus volume of B, concentration of B is equal now to your final volume times concentration or final concentration. Well, let's dissect more the problem. So volume of A then is equal to so I think this is what uh, what we are asking for. So we can uh, assume it as x, and the concentration of A is 20 percent. Then uh, volume of B is equal now to 40 liters, and the concentration is 50 percent. So the final volume will be as we say before the final volume is the volume of a plus the volume of b so that is 40 plus x and the concentration of our final solution it should be 30 percent so uh, we just have to plug in uh, the given so volume of a is x times a concentration of 0.2 or 20 percent plus 40 times a concentration of 50% or 0.5 is equal now to your final volume which is 40 plus x times a concentration of 0.3 so that is 0.2x plus 50 times uh, 40 or 0.5 times 40 is 20 Right? It's equal now to 0.3 times uh, 40 is 12 plus 0.3x or 0.3x, okay? So move this there, so 0.20x minus 0.30x is equal now to 12 minus 20. So this is point negative 0.01 or oh, 0.10x or 0.1x is equal now to negative 8. So the negative cancels out, so we have x then is equal to 80 liters. So the volume of that 20% solution should be 80 liters to create a 30% solution. So in this case, our answer is letter C. So let's try another problem. How much water must be evaporated from 10% uh, or 10 liter solution which has 4% uh, salt to make a 10% salt solution? So again, going back to our basic equation, so volume of A times concentration of A plus volume of B times concentration of B is equal to your final volume times concentration of your final solution. Let's try to identify the, the given. So the volume of your solution or first solution is, is equal to 10 and then the concentration of your first solution is 4%. Now uh, the volume of B here is the water that is to be evaporated from your original uh, solution. So Let's say that is X. And the concentration of the water that is being evaporated or that is evaporated should be zero, right? So the concentration of the water that is to be evaporated will have a zero concentration. And then the final uh, volume then is equal now to 10 minus X. Minus because you are evaporating certain amount from certain amount of volume from the original volume and then the concentration of your final solution should be 10 percent so just plugging in the values you have volume of a which is 10 and then a concentration of 4 percent or 0 0.04 minus now because you are evaporating a certain amount of water so volume of b which is x times a concentration of zero is equal now to your final volume, which is 10 minus x times a concentration of 10% or 0.1. So therefore, 0 0.04 times 10 is 0.4. So 
So this is zero is equal now to 10 times 0.1, that is 1 minus 0.1x. So this will be there, so negative point or point one x sorry point one x is equal now to one minus uh, point four so that is point one x is equal now to point six so x then is equal to six so that means you have to evaporate six liters of water to achieve 10% sun solution from a 4% from original 4% solution. Okay. A tank has a capacity of 10 liters. When it is full, it contains 15% alcohol. So how many liters must be replaced by an 80% alcohol solution to give 10 liters of 70% solution? So this is a special case also. So you have an original uh, solution which is Volume of A, concentration of A, plus volume of B, concentration of B, is equal now to your final volume times final concentration. So, in this case, you are removing a certain volume with the same concentration from your original uh, solution, say. So, that is your final volume, uh, sorry, your, your initial volume is... Your initial volume is 10 liters and it has a concentration of what 15 percent and then the problem says how many liters okay so how many liters might be replaced so you are removing a certain amount of volume or, or volume you are removing a certain amount of volume from your 10 liters so that means if I have that okay to be X so the amount that you remove will have the same concentration because you did not evaporate or you didn't do something so you just have to uh, remove it by physical means so that means you have a concentration which is equal to 0.15 and for the volume that you remove from your initial volume should be replaced by another solution which is 80% so the volume should be equal to the amount that is being removed so volume of C is equal now to X also since what is being removed will be replaced by the same amount of or by the same, uh, the same volume and the concentration of the new of, of the solution that is be, uh, being added is 80% then you have a final volume which is again 10 liters and the final concentration is 70 percent so by plugging in the value so va it's 10 liters times a concentration of 0.15 and then the the volume that is to be removed so that is minus x times 0.15 plus the volume that is to be replaced so this is x times 0.8 is equal now to 10 times 0.7 your final solution so working on this so i think this is uh, 1.5 minus 0.15x plus 0.8x is equal now to 7 okay? 7 uh, 7 then you have uh, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.15 so that is 0.65x this one will be there so 7 minus 1.5 so 0.65x is equal to this is 5.5 so x is equal to 5.5 divided by 0.65 so using our calculator 
that is 5.5 divided by 0.65 so you'll have a volume of that is to be taken out from the original uh, original volume should be 8.46 liter so in this case our answer is water Okay, so that's it for our today's episode. So again, you have this problem for you to solve and I want you to comment down below if you have an answer for this problem. So please watch, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell for you to get updated on our succeeding videos. Eat mo to all. Bye-bye.